Good morning, I'm at the boat ramp and right now I'm sweating pretty hard because I've got the AC off so y'all can hear me. But um, I'm gonna do a little ish inshore fishing this morning. I've got uh, the boat all ready to drop into the water. It's just a little stormy right now. I'm gonna try and pick some time between the storms um, and then go and really try and find some nice redfish um, on this incoming tide. They should be staging in some areas at the, the mouths of creeks. Um, some tiny creeks that, uh, that only flood on, on a higher tide. Um, I might hit, hit a couple docks and then look for some, for some trout in, in open water if I have time and some of the current rips and stuff um, around these creeks. All right, so now I'm on the water. Um, I've got a, myself kind of spot locked with the trolling motor, but uh, I'm on here on a row of docks here in Charleston and super fishy. There's just so much shell around and so much bait fish popping right now. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a look at it. But super old pilings, a lot going on on them. Right now I'm gonna float that those corks around a little bit with a mud minnow right over this structure. this new spot docks did not produce so we're gonna try this bank here here we go great thing about these circle hooks all right sweet there's one i have the sunscreen on my hand so i can't even pull my my line if i want to warm day but I'm just getting started I'm gonna I'm gonna send this one right back looks like it has a looks like it has a bad eye on that side poor guy <clears throat> right off the point of this little oyster peninsula so that bait will just cruise right around there it's that mud minnow under the cork spots the tides picked up a little bit more um, still incoming it's incoming pretty hard so now I'm just gonna focus as close to the grass lines as I can that winds pushing my my cork off a little bit but oh, I missed a hit right there Feisty little redfish right there is what it is. Tiny guy. <clears throat> Extremely blue tail though. Little dude. Drag tying pretty good. <laughs> that one will explode over there. Definitely here. I'm gonna go ahead and send that one back too. It's 1140 almost it's almost noon right now I'm not sure what the temperature is but it's not not cool by any means 
a couple more casts here, then I'm gonna go to a trout spot. Oh, there's a fish right there. All right. been catching another 16 inch 17 inch fish nice red fish I'm gonna send it back right in the middle of it tides coming in so I'm gonna get on the other side of the oyster mound thunder in the background still pretty far away I've got alerts on my phone for 10 miles Sure you're not setting the hook with the circle hooks um, a lot of people do that and they're missing fish out here so make sure you're reeling down on them real hard reeling down but not uh, not jerking it out of their mouth watching i'm going to go ahead and call it right now um i've got a thunderstorm coming in i've been shooting between the the storms as it is i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take any chances but uh it's been a hot afternoon, overcast a lot of it. Um, still able to find a few redfish that you guys saw. So I'm just opening up my truck and trying to let it breathe a little bit because it is just toasty in here. But I'm looking at my phone and again, it's saying 91 degrees, pretty warm. A hot, hot day. But I'm still out here, the fish are still out here, they're still biting. Um, you just gotta know where to look a little bit. And uh, sometimes it's just going to be a slower bite, but that is what it is. You still catch them. Sometimes you just got to bear the heat, especially here in South Carolina. Um, having a good hat, some sunglasses, and lots of sunscreen, net gator. Um, thanks again for watching.